be my turn to say something about women so for me the the talk would go see uh, the health issues are the same as i have been discussed by all my three previous seniors and uh, speakers and but all the concerns for the women starts from a womb so it's a it's a matter of concern of her health from womb to tomb from womb she is being discriminated there is gender discrimination we have female pt side to look after so she is fighting from the womb she is crying from the womb let me live let me be born so that i will be i will be more than a son and in practical society i would say girls are definitely more dedicated uh, towards their parents for everybody they have a concern for each and every individual besides their their own health yes they are the ones who are the center of a relationship so from the womb the girl is starting to fight for her life once she is born then her birth is not being acknowledged so well and uh, people just say ladki hui hai and ladka hua hai something very mesmerizing even in today's hospital today's scenario we see all the helpers who are there if a boy has been born and it's a time to change the duty they won't go and unless they shift the patient so the gender discrimination is really mentally entrenched in our hearts which has to go away and the girl has to be welcomed with an open heart and she will do really great wonders to the society once she is like a child then the discrimination starts in the family about her nutrition her nutrition also suffers and once the nutrition suffers she lags behind in so many things anemia comes comes creeping in just like that and the government has done its initiative lots and lots of initiatives have been taken up by the government to take care that uh, 12 by 12 was a very good initiative so that the people can remember the 12 grams is a healthy hemoglobin by the time the girl has attained puberty at 12 years of age because that is the time she is ready to start menstruating and start losing a blood loss so that will be compensated for and then she can maintain her nutrition there on once she becomes an adolescent then she has to fight so many sexual misadventures maybe maybe brought upon by herself or maybe brought upon by the culture may be brought upon by the society or the changing environment so these are few uh, of the uh, major uh, uh, problems a girl child faces that social uh, in socially in social uh, discrimination in the society as a gender discrimination and a gender bias against her in schools in colleges and then in jobs as well the women are definitely even today lesser paid than their male compatriots compatriots on the same job profile although they are performing far excellent and then the male uh, they uh, the male uh, peers because they are more dedicated they are they, they are more emotional and they more bound to their jobs and to each and every aspect of the life which they are attached to but we have to inculcate in them that this is the time you start looking after your own health because that is most important if you stay healthy you become a healthy person you can uh, see to it that your peer becomes healthy does not uh, uh, get laid into any traps and be aware of everything which is going on in the society and uh, thus uh, the government has formulated many definitions and this is uh, they have said that uh, we have to emphasize the complex web of interrelationships that de determines women's health it goes beyond the biological and the individual they have to acknowledge the crucial role of the social milieu it highlights the importance of justice and equality in determining the well-being of the woman this is very important in all aspects of her life as she is growing older then she is ready to become a mother she is again fighting with anemia malnutrition and now a pregnancy has been loaded upon her maybe wanted or unwanted that pregnancy has always to be her choice so that she can uh, bring up a child who is more intelligent she is more aware and bring up a child who is uh, who is more connected to the society and more responsible adult and an adolescent as sadvi rithamra says that the mother is the first guide of a maybe a male child or a girl child so we can have uh, the social discrimination which is going on against a girl child 
will go away if the mother is very sensitive and she stops discriminating between her children and then the girl progresses to her office and her career and there she has to be really empowered and the government is definitely doing a lot looking after the different gender perspectives and and government has found it as to be an of a new found new found importance so many laws have been framed so that the girl has a right to speak against any uh, sexual abuse maybe vocal or maybe physical in her in a office so that she the people are there to stand with her and not socially abuse her and then uh, the health of the woman is being taken care of her anemia has to be taken care of her maternal her pregnancy health has been taken care of then reproductive health has been very very nicely dealt with doctor by dr singita she has done a really good job the woman has to see to it that she does not get unwanted pregnancies they are taking wanted pregnancies you usually do not put a woman to a risk as much as the risk they are under in an unwanted pregnancy so that is if we are able to prevent that then definitely uh, she can be taken care of then the health issues as she is growing older then we have to focus upon the cancers on the uh, breast cancer cervical cancer then maybe she is suffering from very chronic diseases like endometriosis and then when the menopause sets in then menopausal health problems set in and the mental health issues come to the fore which are very very important because this is the time when the woman is undergoing a big transition in her physical life and she is going a big transition in her emotional life as well so a depression if it's a part and parcel that really takes the toll on her so there have been many steps have been taken by the government of india to improve the health of the women there has been a comprehensive primary health care through ayushman bharat health and wellness care centers that is hwcs health melas are being organized at all the levels telecommunication services have been introduced through e sanjeevani which are functional and available at ayushman bharat health and wellness centers to ensure specialist services closer to the people as on 31st of july 2023 more than 14.35 crore people have taken the advantage so telecommunication have been provided by e sanjeevani portal and screening of women is also being done at the same portal for breast cancer oral cancers and cervical cancers then the government has taken an initiative as national free drugs initiative in all states and unit union territories free diagnostic initiatives under the initiative support is being provided to all the states to uh, provide a set of essential diagnostic centers and at various levels of care free of cost then national ambulance services these are very very important for the general population especially for the women because she would need them most when she is in emergency as to decrease her maternal mortality then national mobile medical units are being taken care of then for especially for women there is surakshit matritva ashwasan scheme that is suman which provides assured dignified respectful and quality healthcare at no cost and zero tolerance for denial of services for every woman and newborn visiting public health facilities to end all preventable maternal and newborn deaths janani suraksha yojana we all are very aware of under janani shishu suraksha karyakram every pregnant woman is entitled for free delivery including cesarean section in public health institutions along with provision of free transport diagnostics medicines blood and other consumables so pradhan mantri surakshit matritva yojana abhiyan provides pregnant women a fixed day free of cost assured quality antenatal checkup that is ninth and that is today lakshya improves the quality of care in labor room and maternal op maternity operation theaters functionalization of first referral units that is frus by ensuring manpower blood storage units referral linkages to improve the access of to quality of care for pregnant women outreach camps are provisioned for improving the reach of health care services especially in tribal and hard to reach areas iec and bcc campaigns one of the key focus areas of maternal health is to generate demand through information and education and communication interpersonal communication and behavioral changes change and communication so this this is the communique which has been released by the government as latest on 8th of august 2023 
so i would say the government has done a lot for us and we have to see to it we are the ones who are providing all these services so we have to see to it that the woman has all these services they are get, really reaching her in true sense and she gets the benefit and uh, then the, the cancer we are already doing that cancer mukh bharat may be a breast cancer cervical cancer mukh bharat and uh, these schemes really have to be uh, taught to each and every woman they should be made aware that what is available for them what is being done for them and what they can uh, they are entitled to and they have to seek seek for themselves that is the most important part seek this care for themselves for their own well being and the benefit of the society as it is always said when we are in the aircraft that if there is any emergency apna mask oxygen mask pehle use kare dusre ko help karne se pehle so woman has to understand that if she takes care of her health she can take care of five more members of her family and that sees to the progress of the nation and the quality of life for each and every one improves thank you friends beautiful bahut badhiya bahut badhiya dr balna beautifully said and what i really want to say that there has to be complete knowledge of government okay. programs to the private the practitioner yes, yes i mean hum log private practice mein reh ke hum log government kya kar rahi hai hame nahi pata rehta but i think um, whenever there is a time and there is permission from him, i would like to take one ppt or lakshya program I will take yeah, one. That will be that. Sure, will be sure, 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 yeah, sure. I will tell good. something about Lakshya program. But so, I, I find you know today's uh, these uh, this program is very enlightening and you know it shows that what is going on in all our minds. You know, I think it has yeah. been a very encouraging to me. Yes, yes, it's really yes. something. जैसे वो लोग वहाँ पे कर रहे हैं हम लोग यहाँ पे कर रहे हैं मैं प्रगति में था. It's more. It's more. See, we are.